Hello, good day and welcome back to Joso. My name is Edwin and this is our part four in the series of how to carry out a bathroom survey using your echo sound. So on the first episode we talked about her introduction, equipments that we need, and on the second video we talked about how to do the connections on site, connecting the echo sounder to the transmitter powering the equipment and so on and so forth. In our third video, we talked about how to do your operations, how to acquire your data as well. So, in this video, we'll be assessing the data that we acquired on site. So, for the sake of this test, we are going to, first of all, process the data that we acquired and then we we'll also process another data for another job that we did. So that we can actually understand how the processing works. So we encourage that you follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook. Also, hacks that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button you like, share, comment your suggestions about this video, and also what you like to see on our next video. Thank you very much, and let's proceed to the SSA. Okay, so we are going to open the high survey and by default when we open the high survey, echo sounder is also going to open. Since we are not creating a new project, we are going to work on the project we did. So we just click on the project and click on OK. So we are going to select this line and then we we'll click on OK. Because this is the job that we did here. So we can zoom beyond this point. So what we are going to do from here is we are going to click on processing, then click on single beam editor. Now on single beam editor, we'll click on file, then we'll click on open. We'll select the line again and then also click on OK. Now it's going to ask if we want to import echo images. Well, we are not going to do that, so we'll click on No. Now this is the lines, the wave pattern. I cannot see much. Let me try to zoom out. So this is how the wave is from beginning to end. We have 13 points. From the beginning, zoom in again, we'll start going through the traveling through the wave just to see if there is any issue. Check. So this is zero here. We have uh, two meters here. This is four meters. This is six meters. And from the observations that we did. We, what we got was 0 0.6, so this is 0 0.6 here. We're going to be going through the line. If you see any unusual or any difficult, any suspicious wave pattern or depth pattern, we we'll edit. So you see for this job, there is no the wave pattern is straight and is okay so quickly we did not do any editing here so we can save this and then we'll go back to file we'll now click on open so we want to open a, another project here we can do another editing so we'll cancel this come back to project click on open project now we are going to go to a, another project that we did before of this project. Let's do this day. So this is a project that we've worked on before. Select the data, the line, and then we'll click on it. So these are the wave patterns. So this is how we did the project. All these lines you are seeing are the lines that the boats traveled and from this is 101 this is 100 and so year to year 
5 meters distance from Tava that we used to do the job. Furthermore, this is just the area that we did sounding for. So as you, these lines you are seeing are the way, the lines, the navigation of the boat, how we navigate when we were doing the project. So to edit this data, I will come to processing, single beam editor, click on open, select the line and then I'll click on open. So with this we can actually do some editing. I want to, I don't want to import a query image, so I'll click on no. I want to zoom out. So see, this is a, this is a wave pattern. So at this point, we have a deeper depth compared to what we have on this side. Also, here too is deeper compared to what we have here. So if we zoom in again, we can start our editing now for the editing to be easier we we'll first of all run an automatic depth editor so for the automatic depth editor we we'll click on this auto click on auto it will ask us some data may not be processed automatically so please check again click on ok it has done the automatic depth, depth editor so we'll start going again from beginning to end Me. Okay, so I want to point out something here because the automatic data editor has already edited, has already corrected the mistake. But what we had here before, you see this yellow line was the initial depth value that was there. So this was something like this. Let me click on edit. So this line was initially something like this and this was also like this so if you are doing your editing these are the errors that you'll be correcting so by default under uh, if you are using your normal initiative your common sense you should know that the depth of the river cannot just go from this is one point cannot just go from 1.0 1.2 and go to zero and come back again to 1.2 so you know that you know that something happened there maybe at this point it did not record the data so what you'll be doing when you're editing is to cut cut out these places make them straight go forward again there's another one here it has been corrected already so move forward go forward See, all these are bad data that have been corrected already. So you can also do something like this. You can just cut these streets. See, most of the corrections have been done automatically. So let's see go. And you have to do this from beginning to end so that you ensure that the old data that you have is corrected. If not, you can end up submitting data that's, that has error at some point. So you see all this yellow that you are seeing have been corrected automatically. So the yellow was the original one, but the green is how it is now. So when you submit your data, it's going to have the depth of where this green line is. Moving forward, and see as we are traveling, the wave is going up and down, so it's just telling us the difference in height between one or two points so if you go like this go faster you can see the up and down movement is just difference in depth difference in depth nothing much about here to edit 
you want to see the whole page, you are zooming out again. This is it. From beginning to end. So this is how to do your editing from beginning to end you can do this multiple times maybe one or two times just go from beginning to end again to be sure that you corrected any error inside the data and when you finish you click on save so it will tell you that there have been changes that has been made to the to the job so if you want to save it or not so you click on ok and it will save successful then you can close the single beam editor then when you come back to this page to export your data you come to source sorry you come to processing and then you click on file export and for the job you select the job also select your format so we want to export to a csv format uh, another thing is if your Starting or if you're getting the equipment for the first time, you might not have this CSV format, so you have to create a default, a custom export format. So to create a custom format, you come to custom, select the name and type any name you want. So if you want to export to a notepad, you can put, uh, type notepad here as the export name, notepad. Then the separator and the command, then the extension. Give that uh, the extension for Notepad is a the extension for Notepad is dot txt. So you type in txt. Then for the points that you want to export, so you data you want to export, you want to export the point name. Add the dates you add the time you add, the latitude you add, the longitude you add, the elevation you add, the antenna height you add, the y axis you add, the x you add, that's the coordinate. You want the h2 you add, this is round h. Add, add the depth you add, so as much data that you need, the PDOP as much that you need you select them so basically what you need is the name if you want the date and time that's also okay if you you need the x and the y and of course you need the depth so these are the basic ones that you need but if you want to add other data you can also add as well so when you're done you click on okay so as you can see we've created another custom format so if i'm exporting to notepad i will select this if i'm exporting to csv I will, export, I will select this so let's do for the both of them so first of all psp then i will click on exports then it will ask me to type a name name for the file i want to create so i'm saving it to my desktop and the name of the file is uh, survey So be party survey party survey test so the extension is going to be csv which is excel export successful also if i want to export to notepad i'll click on notepad select the line as well click on export again Go to my desktop type in the name again 
uh, Ati Ati survey test so The first one is .csv This is going to be .txt So I click on save and it has been saved as well. So if I close my keyboard, close this. I've saved already, so I can still close this. I'm not making use of Echo Sander, so I can also close this. And if you check, this is Bati Survey Text, this is the text document, and this is the Excel document. I don't have Microsoft Excel installed on my Echo Sander, but I think I can open the notepad. So this is the notepad. The point name, the date, the time, the latitude, the longitude, the elevation, antenna height, everything I selected is here. So that is how to, and as you can see, they are separated by comma. If I wanted it separated by dot, I would have done that when I was doing the customization. They are separated by comma. So I have my X, my Y, and then I have my depth. So this is how to process your data and also export your data that you've, that you've job that you've done on site. So thank you very much for staying with us from the beginning to this last episode and we really hope that you have enjoyed and you've learned something from this video. We hope to see you on our next video so we encourage that you subscribe hit the notification button to get notified anytime we upload a new video like share comment your suggestions about this video and then follow us on all our social media platforms on facebook instagram and on linkedin so thank you very much and do have a wonderful day